Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Professor Abdul Rashid bin Abdul Aziz from University of Technology Petronas. Today, I would like to introduce to you a very exciting innovation from UTP. What we have developed is an autonomous wheelchair for carrying pilgrims to perform the tawaf and sa'i in Masjid Al Haram, Mecca, Saudi Arabia. Why we have developed this technology? Imagine yourself pushing a wheelchair of your loved one or your parents during tawaf and sa'i. Particularly during the Hajj season, there is a large crowd and you have to navigate and trying to avoid people along the way. Imagine not having to do that and having a wheelchair that is able to navigate itself and allowing your loved one to sit comfortably uh, without worrying and doing his or her tawaf and umar. This is what we are offering with our technology. The ability to navigate and perform the tawaf and perform the sa'i autonomously without any human control or interaction. So what is the target market for this product? Of course, originally when we envisioned this product, our intention was to assist those doing the uh, Hajj and Umrah, doing the performing the Tawaf and Sa'i. Um, but later, we realized that this technology can also be applied to cases, for example, in shopping malls, uh, in airports, as well as in uh, tourist uh, sites, uh, where tourist attraction site, where you have uh, places where people have to walk and see um, all these historical places. So there are already competition. For example, uh, in Masjid Al Haram, the government are providing the services you know, where people uh, can pay to do this. Uh, 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 Tawaf and Sa'i. Uh, you can pay basically people to push you on a, on a uh, wheelchair. But what we have here is uh, a technology that can replace this thing while also giving the, the owner of this technology income. You realize that uh, Saudi has this vision 2030 whereby they will be uh, increasing the number of uh, visitors or tourists into Saudi Arabia up to 30 million a year by 2030. So this increase in the number of, of, uh, of, of tourists coming to do uh, tawaf and sa'i in Masjid al-Haram uh, will put a pressure. So having an additional uh, capability to allow people to do tawaf and umrah on this technology, which is an autonomous wheelchair, uh, will provide uh, income not only to the operator, but also to the, to the government and those who own this technology. So how are we going to market this uh, product? Of course, uh, we will be approaching uh, the government, uh, particularly Saudi Arabia and also the government of Malaysia, um, Tabung Haji for example, and also the Umrah operator as well as other uh, travel, travel and tourist agent uh, whereby we will work together with them. So either uh, this product can be leased or it can be purchased individually and the owner can carry this uh, into the uh, aircraft and transport it all the way uh, to Saudi Arabia and also coming back without any issue. And uh, particularly, uh, we will also work uh, with those performing the Hajj and Umrah, performing the Tawaf and Sa'i themselves uh, in order to investigate further and to refine the product that we have. So what is the return on investment on this technology? Uh, from our experience, uh, we have calculated that it roughly costs around 20,000 US dollars uh, to develop a unit of this autonomous vehicle. And that is on the high side. And from our calculation, uh, we can break even uh, after about uh, between uh, 18 to 24 months of operation uh, if for example you have three of these units uh, operating continuously for uh, eight hours a day for um, 20 days a week uh, 20 days a month so with that you would be able to recover back 
your investment of, of the unit uh, within less than uh, 24 months. Um, to develop further this product uh, or this proof of concept, uh, we have made a collaboration effort, particularly with uh, an entity called Wadi Mecca uh, in Saudi Arabia. Wadi Mecca is the uh, commercial arm uh, of Umul Qura University and uh, they are responsible to develop any technology related to Hajj and Umrah and uh, we have uh, signed an agreement with them um, and also we have demonstrated the product uh, to the CEO of Adi Makkah themselves and they are very interested in this uh, product um, at the moment uh, we have reach uh, TRL4 where the prototype has been uh, developed uh, and tested and uh, we would like to have that ability to demonstrate this uh, in Masjid al-Haram itself uh, to show its effectiveness. Thank you.